In today's video, I want to share some tips and strategies for working with vintage images to create content to resell. I'm going to be sharing some resources where you can get these, how to make new images look vintage, and more. So vintage images are images approximately that are 50 years or so or older. And sometimes vintage images look older, but they're not old enough for the public domain. So for example, some advertising images from the 1970s are still protected by copyright, although they are often referred to as vintage. And vintage looking images are images that have been modified to look older. This happens from often using a tool to age the image. So we're talking about more of a visual aesthetic, not the actual age of the image. So for example, we have the original image here on the left, and then on the right, you can see that it's been uh, tinted, so the colors are not as vibrant, and it looks more like an older photograph. So in terms of finding vintage images and graphics, or things that are free that you can use to make look more vintage, there's tons of resources. Here are some of my favorite tools. Creative Commons, Pixabay, Public Domain Pictures, and the British Library. As always, though, you want to make sure to look at the individual um, license requirements for the images themselves when you pull some up that you want to use. So here's an example of how to use Creative Commons to find commercial use images. You go to the site, click on the search bar, type in your topic, and then you can, um, if you select this, use commercially, modify, or adopt, or adapt, then everything you download should fall under that license. But when you are downloading something, make sure to also do the, get the license for that too. Um, you can just download it or maybe create a spreadsheet where you have the, the um, maybe the name of the image where you have it on your hard drive and then the license that came with it or something like that. So when you are looking for vintage images, you might want to narrow your keyword research to find what you're looking for. So this does build on in my earlier video about niches. So you know, it's definitely better to have an idea of what you're looking for. Uh, you can use things um, added on to your keyword like vintage, retro, classic, timeless. So if you were doing something maybe with fairy tales, which was one of the niches I mentioned, you could put vintage fairy tales or classic fairy tales or vintage fairy tale illustrations, something along those lines. Now, if you want to make newer images look vintage, um, you can use some photo editing tools like Canva, a, Adobe Photoshop, Foter, which is an online one that's uh, sort of like Photoshop. You work with layers. And you can use uh, filters and tools like that. Just again, make sure you're following, like with Canva, the license requirements so you um, you know can use that image commercially. So you can see these here with Canva. This is um, an image that's just a modern image. And then we have one that looks a little bit, uh, it's called the retro filter. And again, you, we looks a little bit older and faded. So another thing for vintage images is getting your size right. Uh, so you want to make sure that when you're downloading images, if you're using them in like, let's say an art print, that it's going to be uh, big enough where it can be printed out at at least that 300 dpi resolution so you know it doesn't have to get overly complicated I'll, of what you can do and i do include that in the the training that i'll mention here at the end is you can just use a size chart and make sure that the original image is a certain size and sometimes too when you download these images they'll tell you like you know that's it's this big or this many pixels and then you can just you know use that information so if you'd like to learn more about working with uh, vi uh, visual images and vintage images to create content that sells, you want to check out PD Visual Prints. I have a lot of great training and uh, tutorials and templates that go over how to do this quickly and easily. You can get the link in the description below.